Thank you for uh, being here today as well as the work you do on behalf of tens of thousands of Thank you. Uh, teachers. Today, Taylor Davis is a student at Wagner mm -hmm. Middle School and he's home today because other students put a noose of yarn around his neck taunting him with uh, a, what they said, quote, this is what your ancestors went through, end quote. I asked uh, Chancellor Carranza if he would come and uh, meet with the student and their parent. He, he has agreed to do so. Uh, I am curious about what teachers can do in these types of situations, uh, what positive learning collaborative uh, can do, uh, what uh, the Brave Anti-Bullying Initiative could have meant in this situation, and whether you'd be open to joining us and seeing what we can do to help this child and their family in a community that is in pain. Well, first, uh, thank you for bringing this up because more people need to be talking about it. Um, and of course, anything that I can do personally to help, I would be there for you if you needed me somewhere. Uh, I would be more than happy to help get do that work. When we talk about discipline, we're usually talking about the child who has done something that has caused a discipline problem. And that is very important that we continue that being part of the conversation. Because in the Positive Learning Collaborative Schools, which we are now up to 25 in New York City, we have dropped suspensions down to almost nothing. They're down 82%. And we did that by, first and foremost, having the right people in place to do interventions. We want to know why this child did this act, and we need to have a conversation about getting them to a better place. The part you don't hear in the discipline debate is, what happens to the child who was the victim? And what happens to the other children in the classroom who have witnessed this, and at the same time, who have had their educational process for that at least one day disrupted greatly? And those are parts of the conversation that, that have to be addressed. So this child, if he is not in a positive learning collaborative school or a school with a social worker, now goes home. His guidance counselor may or may not have the time because all they're doing is paperwork to actually help that child if he was in a school with a guidance counselor. The best I could offer at this moment is that child could call the Brave Hotline, which is where I know they will, he would get access, and thank you for funding and supporting that program, that child will get access to uh, a clinician, whether it be a psychologist or a social worker. But as we talk about discipline, all of this should be part of the debate, and it's always about school climate. We always talk about discipline as a punitive thing. And I'm telling you now, in schools who have addressed this and tackled this head on, it is not a punitive thing. It is a process to make it a positive thing. And that is what, what is missing in this debate. Thank you, and I believe the number for the Brave Hotline is 212-709-3222. Yep. Or they can text BRAVE to uh, 43961 to just have a conversation for anyone watching. Absolutely, they will get through to directly to a psychologist or a clinical social worker, and of course, it's completely confidential. Thank and that's not just for anyone who has been a victim, that is for a parent if they're looking for some sort of support or help, and that is for a friend of a, uh, of a, of a, of a student who they believe might